Well, we're going to learn a lot today about visual blocks, about multi-level ponds and waterfalls, and we're going to do it right here in northern Indiana. This is going to be a great segment, a lot of great tips and pointers for you here today. And Mark, this is a beauty you've got in store for us. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> over the past 37 years, uh, we've done a lot of uh, landscaping for uh, circular driveways, but uh, we have never done anything quite like this. Nothing quite like <laughs> this. Well, we talked a little bit about the visual block, and that visual block really is intended to kind of break up that circular driveway a little bit, isn't it? Absolutely. Circular driveways are great uh, for traffic uh, flow. In fact, you can pull right up uh, to uh, the house, drop guests off, and uh, yeah. continue moving on. They're functional. Uh, but uh, it is a lot of uh, concrete. And, um, and so one of the goals uh, here was to tone down the look of uh, all the concrete. And one way to do that is by raising or uh, berming right. uh, the center of uh, the drive. And uh, we've done uh, that uh, many times, but not quite like this. Well, the human beings <laughs> love this, and I understand the dogs love it too. <laughs> yes, a uh, homeowner has uh, <laughs> several dogs here, and uh, these are actually referred to as the dog ponds. <laughs> the dog ponds. <laughs> yes. Wow. And uh, they're, they're labs, <laughs> and they love water, and so on uh, hot summer uh, days in uh, July and August, uh, it's not going to be unusual for you to actually see the dogs in here chilling out. Wow, are you going to see any fish in there too? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. yes. Uh, it's important to, to have uh, aquatic uh, fish, aquatic plants, and then uh, also uh, the circulating uh, water uh, just to create a balanced uh, ecosphere. Uh, we started uh, the construction of this uh, last fall and if you look at uh, the stones and the rocks inside of uh, the pond there, you're going to start seeing uh, some microorganisms uh, starting uh, to grow on uh, those rocks. Now, a uh, pond is very, very different than a swimming pool. Swimming pool, you're wanting to have it uh, pristine clean, mm -hmm. but we want to create this uh, very natural uh, look, and we also want it uh, to be as self-sufficient as possible. And so those microorganisms are really, really important to have them start uh, sure. growing on the rocks. And that also provides uh, food for the fish. So yeah, I, I would imagine it would. So unlike a pool where you condition the water, you really don't do that here. Do no, I don't know if you've ever noticed, Craig, uh, if you've uh, seen an aquarium and uh, you've seen uh, the fish picking up uh, stones and then they spit yeah, them back yeah, out. Yeah. Go, okay, so yep. they're actually eating the microorganisms that are on the stones. Really? And uh, so we wanna have uh, the same thing uh, going on here. You know, I do that with popcorn seeds. <laughs> microorganisms? Well, yeah, I suck off the salt and spit them right back into the bag. That's the same concept, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, what else you have here going on, Mark? Well, it's a pretty big uh, property here, and so low, low maintenance is incredibly uh -huh. important. And so we're doing a combination of uh, stone uh, ground cover here. We've got our stone bark ground cover, which is uh, uh, similar to uh, bark, but has the benefits of stone. There's a woven fabric weed barrier uh, underneath there. Gotcha. And then we're also using our uh, native uh, stone ground cover which blends nicely with all the our uh, native uh, boulders that uh, we're using for not only uh, the edges of the pond but for all these uh, multiple tiered uh, waterfalls yeah how, how many gallons of water are you guessing flow through here that's a great question uh, I don't I know the have answer prepared to you that. <laughs> I still lot, know right? that a lot yes <laughs> yes one of the favorite things of uh, the homeowners is actually uh, this uh, dog bench here perfectly situated so you can sit here and uh, watch the dogs play in uh, the pond a uh, nice little uh, resting spot uh, here mm -hmm. nice idea I like that what else here, Mark? Well, we've got uh, some of our dwarf ornamental grasses. Uh, Craig, these are called the liriopes. And uh, later on this summer, they're going to get spikes of uh, blue flowers, which will add a nice little pop of uh, color. We've got uh, different uh, perennials incorporated in here. We've got spring blooming. We've got summer blooming. We've got uh, fall blooming as well. And you're also going to see uh, some landscape uh, lighting in here. Mm -hmm, I see that. We've got a combination of our path lights and then also uh, we've got spotlights at the, the base of uh, the trees. And then we also like to work with some underwater uh, lighting as well. Wow, Mark, this is fabulous. This is incredible. How long of a process would it take to create something like this from beginning to end? Well, uh, great question. And uh, we have a pretty good size uh, crew here and uh, it's 
not uh, just a few days or a few weeks. Right. Uh, this uh, takes uh, 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 several months. Uh, you know, this probably has more landscaping here in the circular driveway than my, what most homes have around uh, their house. Wow. Uh, but it's also in uh, proportion to the scale of uh, the property. Mm -hmm. Another thing uh, here, uh, being in uh, Michiana, we've got uh, a lot of uh, snow and uh, there's going to be times when uh, there's uh, the snow hasn't been removed from the driveway and it's a little hard to tell where the drive is. And so we have uh, the sod that we've uh, laid around here. Not only does that help tone down the look of uh, the concrete, but it's also a buffer that uh, grass is very forgiving. And if a snow plow or if uh, some guest wasn't quite familiar with the layout of uh, the land here, uh, and they uh, ran over uh, the driveway, it is, uh, or excuse me, ran over the sod rather, uh, it is much more forgiving than running over some landscape plants. Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you, there's so much practical uh, importance to the design here, isn't there? <laughs> there is. We've got some of our uh, dwarf butterfly bushes uh, here putting on a nice show. These are butterfly magnets. Craig, they bloom all spring, all summer, uh, uh -huh. fall. And they also put out a nice uh, fragrance as, as well. Very good, very good. Well, you've mentioned the boulders here, and you've got quite a few. Uh, lots I, of I, uh, I, native uh, fieldstone boulders. I'm not going to ask you how many, because <laughs> I think I threw you with the, the, the number of gallons here, but there's a lot of boulders. Uh, that would be my answer. There's a lot. <laughs> We've got uh, different uh, varieties of ornamental grasses in here uh, for some texture. I love the contrast of texture with ornamental grasses and mm -hmm. uh, the hard surfaces of uh, the boulders. These are a neat little uh, plant. Uh, this is a little Tom Thumb uh, Catoniaster, and uh, it's a dwarf compact Catoniaster, unique uh, to us that we grow. Little uh, pink uh, bell-shaped flowers in the springtime, then bright red berries later in the fall. You're seeing a little coloration yeah. here on the uh, leaves. Sure. But these do a great job of uh, naturally shaping themselves into a little mound. So a lot of low maintenance out here, right? There is. Got an ornamental uh, tree here. This is one of our weeping redbud trees. We're featuring a spotlight underneath it so that when the homeowner and the guests come down uh, the driveway, this just kind of magically uh, glows. Oh, yeah. And all the lights are on a, a photo cell, which uh, turn them on automatically at, at night and then also uh, shuts off automatically uh, during uh, um, mm -hmm. the daytime when the sun comes back out. So much uh, better than a timer, you know, because we have the time change and uh, also uh, we're in uh, some of the longest days of the season right now compared to the shorter days. So. Yep. Almost reminds me of the ginkgo tree we saw a couple <laughs> weeks ago at the Murray Botanical Gardens. <laughs> yeah, it's got some similarities. Yep, a little bit. So love the dog bench so well. We've got two of them hey, uh, here. Uh, You're all about symmetry, e right? Each side of the pond. Yes, yep. we've got some balance and uh, symmetry. Actually, looking down into uh, the pond here, Craig, uh, I'm uh, noticing a lot of uh, tadpoles in there. And uh, that's just kind of the neat thing is that uh, when we create a, a body of water, see the little tadpoles sure. uh, yep. swimming around yeah. there? You know, those type of things uh, just uh, naturally uh, show up. And, is that uh, right? And that uh, creates the balanced ecosphere that we're looking for. So you did not fill this pond with those initially. We did not. Uh, gosh. Wow. Standing here, I'm seeing hundreds yeah, of them. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I would say later this summer, there's going to be a huge uh, addition in our oh, frog population here. What a great bonus, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is an awesome uh, view of uh, the circular driveway plantings uh, here. And what we wanted to do was make sure that there really wasn't a backside uh, to this. Uh, with a circular drive, you can see it uh, from all the different angles. This is one of my favorite uh, angles uh, here. Oh, yeah. You can see the upper falls, and then we've got a falls here. What's hidden is uh, the falls to the other uh, pond. But uh, that's the beauty of this. As you walk around, it's a different view, different perspective every time. So we like to say that there's lots of surprises around every corner. No kidding. Absolutely. <laughs> and boy, what you were talking about earlier, about breaking up that circular driveway, another great example of what it's doing right now. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. We've got another specimen uh, tree here with the spotlight down at uh, the base of it. It's one of our fern leaf uh, buckthorns, and uh, that's a nice tree just to kind of naturalize uh, the look here. We've got some of our gold thread uh, cypress. Uh, there's three of those down around uh, the base of it. And I love uh, their uh, soft texture and uh, they had a nice pop of the gold uh, throughout the season. Mm -hmm. A lot of balance here. <laughs> here, seeing a lot of hard and soft, aren't you? Yes, and uh, over here by the waterfall, 
Uh, that weeping evergreen, yep. Craig, that yep. is one of our weeping Norway spruce. And uh, we've got that angled towards the waterfall. And uh, my vision for that is to see that uh, cascading and kind of arched over uh, the waterfall uh, there. And that's going to take a few years uh, to accomplish uh, that. Uh -huh. Strategic positioning, though, right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. In uh, the background there, you see one of our uh, beautiful clump white birch trees. Yeah, that I is love uh, kind of seeing it, uh, the movement uh, swing in the mm -hmm. breeze that we've uh, got here. And uh, that really provides a uh, nonstop beauty uh, with that white uh, bark uh, there. And then uh, you get another uh, splash of color in the fall when uh, those uh, leaves turn a brilliant gold color. Yeah, fantastic. Well, Mark, you have done an outstanding job here as we wrap up the segment. Uh, again, if folks at home are interested in maybe creating a multi-tier pond and waterfall, now would be the ideal time to maybe make that first contact. <laughs> Absolutely, or if you're just dreaming of a little tiny backyard pond, we can just do a little smaller version of this as well. That's right, yeah, this would probably be at the other end of that, right? Haven't done anything uh, this incredible before for a circular driveway, so. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> outstanding job. Again, if you'd like to find out more about what's going on with ponds and waterfalls at Linton's Enchanted Gardens, just go online, lintons.com, or give Mark a call, and he'd be happy to sit down and go over some ideas with you. Hey, a whole lot more coming up on the program. You're going to enjoy what we have for you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.